Welcome to today's Grow It Green. We're at Achille Agway in Milford. I'm joined by Margaret Hagen from UNH Cooperative Extension Service. Margaret, we've been talking about this little bugger, pun intended, for a while now. But we have. He's definitely... Uh, he's definitely moving yeah. around in the state of New Hampshire. He's an emerald ash borer, and he's bright green. He's about, actually not that big, half an inch in size maybe, and he shows up as an adult beetle usually in late June, early July. Now you say also there's a beneficial beetle that sometimes there people are. confuse. There is a whole slew of beetles that people confuse with the emerald ash borer, but the one I really care about is the six-spotted tiger beetle. It's about the same size, but it's going to have six spots on its back. It's a beneficial, so it's going to eat soft-bodied insects like aphids that you don't want anyway. Okay, so now what are the ways uh, maybe you can tell if you have uh, an infestation emerald ash borer? Right, so new leaves are out on trees right now, so if you look up into the top of your ash tree and there's a fair amount of dead wood and things aren't looking so good, you might want to go get a pair of binoculars and look up into the dead area and look for um, what we call blonding. So you see on this side of this log, it's pretty normal, the bark is still intact. But on this side, woodpeckers have come in and they've sheared a lot of the wood out trying to get to the little larva or worms underneath the bark. And so it looks blonde and it's called blonding. So that's one symptom. Okay. If you have a lot of shoots coming up on, at the base of the trunk or right on the trunk, that's another symptom um, right. that you've got a problem. And if you start to see the adult beetles, that's a real clue. Okay, now here's the reason why we're yeah. kind of concerned and this seems to be getting larger. It uh, is getting larger. So the red is the towns where it's in, and it's in actually 16 towns in the state of New Hampshire, and it is moving, and it tends to move with firewood. So that's a big deal. The yellow is the quarantine areas where you can't move a lot of firewood or other wood around without getting a permit and maybe doing some heat treating of that wood. So we're really trying to contain it where it is, but people come in from out of state and they want to stay campgrounds. So the easiest thing that you can tell them to do do, or you can do yourself is to go to a website that is called um, firewoodscout.org and it will come up with a list if you put in the zip code of 10, 15, 20 places that are close by that campground where you can buy wood. And tell your friends who are coming from out of state, don't bring any wood right. with them. Right. So this is EAB Awareness Week. It starts tomorrow on the 22nd and we're really trying to make people aware of not moving wood around in the state so it doesn't spread any further. Okay, so don't even bring it from county to county. Get your wood locally. That's the best way to do it. And that's it for today's Grow It Green.